Hey guys, it's a little high. Should I put you down? Hey guys, well, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Sophie and I make all different kinds of videos. Um, I know I've been slacking recently, but we're trying to get back into it. Um, so if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Make sure you give this video a like if you like seeing this kind of video and let's get into it. What we're doing today is we're gonna do a fall nighttime routine on a weekend. So it's not normally what I do during the weekday because I am a very busy woman and online teaching is hard. And if you are a teacher, I love you. We're gonna be okay. <laughs> Some way, somehow we will be fine. Um, so I am going to kind of show you what I do. So firstly, I wanna take a bubble bath, but I, always clean my tub before I take a bath. Even if I just clean the bathroom. Like my bathroom's not dirty, I just cleaned it a couple days ago. But I always clean the tub before I take a bath. Reason being, I just think it's more sanitary. So after I scrub it out, I always spray it. This is my favorite. It is the Method Daily Shower Gel. Not gel, shower spray. Um, I always spray this after a shower to make sure it stays nice and fresh. So I'll kind of want to run the water through it and let it kind of wash out a little bit. While that is happening, I will take off my makeup. Now I know it doesn't look like I'm wearing any makeup um, because actually I had makeup on and then I took a nap. Um, and when I woke up from my nap, I went to rub my eyes and I was like, shit, you have mascara on. And I looked like a raccoon. So I like quickly washed it off, but not really. So I usually just take a little cotton around and I use the Clinique to take the day off makeup remover. Normally I just wash my makeup off in the shower. I wear Burt's Bees makeup and it's all natural. So it comes off like really easy. But because I'm taking a bath and I want to do a face mask, I will just do this quickly. Look at that, beautiful. Getting all the dirt off. Um, this Take the Day Off retails, I think, for like $18, but honestly, it lasts forever, so I really think it's worth it. Okay, done! So the face mask that we're going to be using today is... this one, this Airbond one that I got from my friend Monica, Rescue and Renew. I'm just gonna triple check that that's what I wanna use. So because my bathroom is obviously not the biggest, I do keep some extra bath items and like makeup bags in this little cubicle. Um, I'm just trying to see if I had another face mask. I don't think I do. I have cough drops, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, no, I do not, but we are gonna use this lotion today. So that's a win for us. So now that my bathtub is cleaned out and rinsed out, I'll actually start filling it. I like to fill it, this is how I get the perfect bath, is I like to fill it with hot water for about like a minute, minute and a half, and then I'll go to warm because I like a hot bath, so let's do that. Okay, next thing before I actually put on the face mask is I'm gonna open up this lotion. This is the lotion we're gonna use today after I take my bath, which is the Trader Joe's Avocado Cucumber. Now, this is like a summer scent, so I usually buy one in the summer so that I can use it all year. Ah! I'm so excited about that. Okay, next, we're gonna put in the bubble bath. I don't actually have bubble bath. This might be controversial, but I'm just gonna do a little spritz of shampoo. And just one or two little spritz. <laughs> Okay, then I will feel for temperature. Make sure it's coming along nicely. Oh, she's fine, okay. 
then I will take down my items from my little part right here down at the bottom so that I can use them. The items we're going to be using today is this soap from Whole Foods. I honestly forget the brand. Um, my best friend gave this to me when she happened to be at her wedding, and I honestly forget the brand, but I absolutely love it. It's from Whole Foods. Use that with my loose ball. The body scrub we're going to be using is we're going to finish up the strawberry lemon. Um, again, this is a summer scent from Trader Joe's, but I know their winter ones are going to be coming out soon, so I want to use this up. And I use a Flamingo razor. There's soap on it. That's what that is. Also, it's time to pick a candle. This candle, honestly, I'm throwing out because it's gotten to the bottom and not really usable anymore. So I'm going to take you to where I keep my candles. I do have this fall scent from Bath and Body, but I'm not really like in the mood for that. So let's open this up here and I'll show you what we got. So this is where I keep all of my candles in this little um, drawer here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's where I keep them. I have App Honey Apple Crisp, interesting scent. I have Vanilla Pumpkin. I have another honey crisp from last year. In fact, you know what? I think we are. I think we're gonna go with honey crisp. I think that's what I want. So let's take that back to the bathroom. My coffee is still sitting on my counter from this morning. Whoops. And let's check on our bath. Okay, she is perfect. She's perfectly filled. I always usually, sometimes I have a drink and like I'll have a beer or maybe make a cup of tea. Today I'm just having water. I've been feeling really congested today and I really just want to have a water by my side to keep myself hydrated. Let's light our candle. Again, it's the honey. Oh my God. Open. Oh my God. <laughs> it's the Honeycrisp apple. This is actually my one from last year that I never finished burning. Um, I think let's use that up before I open the other one. I love these candles from Trader Joe's. I love when they come out with their fall ones, their winter ones. The rose peony has been beautiful. I've been using that one. Okay. Once that is all complete, I will now put on my face mask. I love this face mask. I love the way it opens and then you just squirt. It's a clay face mask, which I really love. Oh, should I put on my headband? Probably. Too late now. <laughs> now it dried very quickly, but what I like about it is that it really exfoliates your skin. And then I'm going to show you what I do afterwards after I wear this face mask, how I rehydrate my skin. Because this one kind of dries it out a little bit, which like not in a bad way. It just really like is an exfoliator, so. Okay, here we are, bath, beautiful. Somebody made a comment on one of my last videos about how to clean this right here. I have tried everything. I've tried literally everything. I take a magic eraser, I get cleaner, blah, 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 blah. It's just the way my bathtub is. Like, I'm sorry. I, I live in an old, 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 Queen's apartment. Like, it's clean. I clean my shower. I don't know what you want me to say. Um, But here's the setup we got going now. Even better with the lights off. I will probably chill in here for about 30 minutes. So, see you later. So that was not 30 minutes. <laughs> it's been about an hour in the bath. Um, which is fine. Okay, so I did the face mask. You can still see it a little bit of it on my nose because I took it off in the bath in the dark. Um, so I couldn't really see what I was doing. Okay. The next thing that I like to do, because that mask, like I said, is very drying. Um, is I like to do a hydrating mask after. Well, kind of. So this is, oh, I can't get her out. This is the Trader Joe's Watermelon Overnight Mask. So you can either wear this overnight, 
which I've done sometimes, or you can just leave it on for like a little period of time and then wash it off and do the, your other skincare. And I've been having problems with breakouts here. You can kind of see some scarage over here. Um, and I stopped getting the acne cream from my dermatologist because it wasn't working. <laughs> like it worked a little bit, but I was paying $50 for something that wasn't really working. So I went back to my tried and true, which you'll see when I do my actual like skincare later and it's been working flawlessly. Like, yes, I still have some scars, but these are not new breakouts. Like none of these are like active breakouts. These are just scars, which like, it is what it is. Okay, now I'm going to put on some lotion, put on some pajamas. We're back in our pajamas, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but I do want to talk about the essential oils that I put on. So, well, first of all, I'll put on chapstick. I, I don't think I love this chapstick. So, this is the Nivea Cherry Chapstick. I like the Nivea Plain Chapstick, but the cherry, you can see, like, it gives you just a slight tint, which, like, I think it's cute for certain occasions, but not all. Um, but anyway, so I have been feeling a little congested lately. So I'm going to be putting just a little bit of peppermint on my wrists so that I can kind of smell that, help me with my congestion. I'm also going to be putting on my throat this Clean Your Throat Blend, which I talked about in one of my Obsessions videos. So if you want the recipe for it, you can go watch that video um, just to keep my throat nice and clean. And then after I put on my oils and whatnot, I'll brush out my hair and then I'm gonna leave this mask on for a little bit longer and then we'll clean it off and do my actual skincare. So, uh, this is the pajama set we are wearing. I talked about this on my Instagram. So if you don't follow my Instagram, I'll leave the name right here so you can follow me to see all of my five faves every Sunday. I talked about this in my five faves. Oh my God, ignore my messy closet and the fact that I haven't made my bed and there's so much laundry to do. Anyway. I absolutely love this set. I wanted something comfy, but like also cute for that like, you know, that time in between, like I'm not going to bed, but like I wanna be comfy and like I wanna feel good, you know? So this is a set from Target. I really, ooh, I almost just dropped you. I really don't know what brand from Target it is, but it's from Target. Um, I absolutely love it. It's really soft material. I'm obsessed. Now I got it an extra small because I heard that you need to size down and I'm like not an extra small lady, like we're just not. Um, so I would normally be a small, but I got these in an extra small and I just think they're so cute, like how fun. And then my slippers are from Loft. They're from last year's collection, but I'm pretty sure they come out with these every year. Now I normally don't wear a bralette with this, um, but if I don't wear one, there's gonna be a lot going on that like the internet just doesn't need to see. So we're, we have a bra line on for now. Um, and now it's time to take care of this. So Saturdays, I don't really prioritize making my bed or like keeping my life clean at all. I have laundry I gotta do tomorrow. So like all of this really just needs reorganized. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, so we've had the watermelon mask on for like about 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna show you what I actually do now that I no longer go to the dermatologist, which listen, it's nothing against dermatologists at all. I'm sure they're very helpful. And I'm sure mine was helpful. I'm sure it was working in some sense, but I just couldn't justify 50 bucks like a month for something that I was still getting breakouts. Like I was still breaking out. So like, anyway, here's what we do. <laughs> I will say this though, this that she told me to use, I still use and it's perfect. And it is the very simple orange oil-free acne wash with the salicylic is what she told me I needed. So I use that. Now, about every other day, about every other day, I will use my ultimate spin. Look at me, I'm like ASMR. I don't have any nails, so it doesn't matter. I will use my Ultimate Spin Brush. Um, I'm not gonna use it today because I just used it yesterday and I don't like to do it every day. Um, so I won't be using it today, but that's fine. 
I am going to be just using my hands to kind of wash my face with it. So that's what we are going to be doing. Okay. Whew. That face wash, I mean, look at me. I look terrible. It always like really just cleans my skin. Okay. Next, what we do is I went back to a tried and true, got me all through college, loved her to death, my clean and clear dual action moisturizer. I don't know, guys. I don't know. There's something about it that just works for me. I don't know. Spread that all over my face. Now, if I am having a breakout, which I have one right here down on my jawline, I will use the Clean and Clear Acne Spot Treatment. Looks like this. Oh my God. And I'll put that like right, ah, oh, mm, it stings. It literally stings when you put it on. And then lastly, here's the trick though. Cerave, Cerave, Cerave. I don't know, whatever you want to call her. She's a queen. We love her work. This really, I put this all over. I put it on my neck too. Be sure to um, take care of your neck. I read Nora Ephron's book, I Feel Bad About My Neck, and I was like, oh my God, I need to take care of my neck. Um, anyway, so I put this all over my face to seal in the acne treatment and to keep my face nice and moisturized. I love Surave, changed my life. Dan has been using it for years and then my, um, Dermatologist said sh I should be using it, and I'm like, okay. So, something that I will actually do first is get a drink. Hi, welcome to my kitchen. Um, I had a drink, as you saw, when I was in the bathroom, and then I dropped my cup as I was going into the bedroom. So, I sometimes, again, I maybe if I didn't take a drink into the bath, maybe I'll have one now, but I'm not really feeling a drink. I just really don't think it's good for my immune system right now. So, I am just gonna have some water. I'm thinking about putting some lemon in it. If I have lemon, should we see? How do you know if a lemon's still good? Like it probably shouldn't be squishy, right? We're back. Sometimes I'll have a snack. I'll show you a couple of my favorite snack foods for at nighttime. Um, number one is my beloved Trader Joe's maple kettle corn. So delicious, but very, very sweet. So if I'm not in the mood for a kind of sweet snack, sometimes I might have a salty snack, which can be pub crackers with cheese, not pub crackers, <laughs> crackers with pub cheese. Pub cheese looks like this. Um, hold on. Hold on. Pub cheese, sometimes on that. Or my new obsession, Lay's chips with hell of a good French onion dip, which I know is not good for you, but it's fine. So sometimes I'll have that as a snack, but to be honest, Dan and I had a really good dinner. We did homemade Popeyes, so we did um, homemade uh, deep fried chicken wings with mac and cheese, french fries, and biscuits. So like all the carbs, which is why I'm like, Ugh. Then after that, we had um, ice cream with chocolate chip cookies. I made these chocolate chip cookies today. I found a recipe online where it only makes eight chocolate chip cookies. I only got seven because I didn't like measure them out correctly, but whatever. So Dan and I took two chocolate chip cookies and we put them in haagen ice cream with chocolate syrup. So I have had enough treats. I'm just going to take a water. Now I'm going to show you how I set up my living space so that I have a really chill evening. Now, when Dan is here, he's usually sitting on here and he might like play or maybe we'll watch something together, but he is at a friend's house. So I'm gonna take my blanket. Might use this, might not, I'm unsure. I'm gonna make myself a little cozy right here. I'm gonna turn on my tree, which you can't see because it's over here, but I'm gonna turn on my Halloween tree. If you watched my, if you watched my last video, um, when I decorated for fall, you would have seen the tree. I'm also, I'm thinking about lighting this candle. I might not though, I'm thinking about it. But what I will do, and I'll turn so you can see, is put in an oil. You can kind of see my tree. So I'm trying to decide what I want to put in. What do I have? Oh, 
Oh, maybe I want some patchouli. No, frankincense. Okay, this is what I've been obsessed with. This is the love potion. Do I want that? Or do I just want some like lavender? No, I think I want patchouli. Oh, I want patchouli. So this is different from my bedtime diffuser. I usually put a diffuser on at bedtime too. Um, at bedtime, I'll either put on peppermint, breathe easy, or good night, which is like a mixture of lavender for me to sleep and Dan and I breathe well. I think right now though, I want patchouli. So then I will spend the rest of my evening probably playing um, Two Dots or some sort of game on my phone, um, watching something, thinking about watching a Halloween movie, thinking about watching Harry Potter. I haven't decided. Probably curl up with my blanket, have some water, go to bed eventually. So that's kind of a typical Saturday night routine for me. I don't really go out much. Um, not really my jam. Sometimes I do, I went out last night. So tonight is gonna be very chill and I'm very excited. So I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.